CBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. We had quite a nice fall day today. Temperatures into the upper 60s, and some of us snuck to the low 70s. Still at 67 in Tupelo right now here. Those winds have been variable through the day, really making it feeling quite nice out for this time of year. Still 65 in Columbus, Starkville at 63 as the game starts here in a few minutes. 65 in Calhoun City, up to 71 in Philadelphia. Temperatures will fall into the 50s by 7 p.m., and I think we'll be continuing to slide down into the 40s under a mostly clear sky by morning. We may have a few clouds on our western counties. Tonight we'll call it mainly clear, but again, by morning you can see a few clouds not quite as chilly. I think we'll end up in the upper 40s for many of us with light southeast winds between 2 and 8 miles an hour. I don't think we'll see any fog like we did this morning in some spots, but we can't rule that out completely. For our Sunday, then, we'll warm up into the 60s in the afternoon. Not quite as uh, warm as, say, we were in some spots today, and I think the showers are now moving in just a little bit earlier for us. Here's our future cast by 7 a.m. watching a line of showers and perhaps a few thunderstorms come across the delta. As they slide in, they weaken, leaving us with some showery weather through the afternoon hours and Sunday into the Golden Triangle. A little bit to the west along I-55, so folks in Yalabusha County or by Winona could see those showers as early as 9 or 10 a.m. And we'll keep some showers around through Sunday evening into Sunday night before things clear out with a partly cloudy sky for Sunday night. Here's our Sunday forecast. I've lowered the temperatures a little bit from yesterday, down only 65 in Starkville, 66 in Columbus, 62 in Winona. And that's because some of that rain moves in a little earlier, that sun blocked by clouds earlier in the day. 67 in Fayette and in Vernon. Soligent, 66 and up towards Tupelo. Low 60s, 63 in Tupelo. Pontotoc, 62. Bruce and Calhoun City at 61 for our Sunday. Might be a good day to just read a book and sit by the window and enjoy the showery weather. Now, as we look forward, here comes this first front here. That's bringing those showers on Sunday. Could be uh, showers on and off through the day. Don't think we'll see too much rain out of it, maybe up to a half inch in some spots. Then we look Monday here. This cold front that comes in Monday evening into the overnight hours is the one I'm a little more concerned about for our chance for severe weather. In fact, already Monday and Monday night, the Storm Prediction Center has put us in an enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five for all of our viewing areas. So if you're watching us, we're on a level three out of five risk. The reason for that here is as we get towards Monday night, the setup is looking uh, a bit interesting for us here. We've got this low here that brings in lots of low-level wind energy, and there's a little bit of instability in the atmosphere, and that may set off some showers and thunderstorms, especially some that could be severe. As of now, we'll say the best threat for Monday evening through Tuesday morning will be damaging winds 60 to 70 miles an hour. The tornado threat itself is still a little bit unclear. We've got a few ingredients that aren't quite matching up right, so we'll have to continue to monitor that. Could see a little bit of hail, too, and some heavy rains, but I still think that regardless, we've got some gusty storms overnight on tap for us. The things to remember, again, still some uncertainty, but storms are still likely. Even if they're on the weaker side, I think we get some showers and thunderstorms with up to an inch in rain. The key will be whether the storm mode are more linear or isolated in nature. For tonight, upper 40s, not as chilly as last night. Again, we're watching some rain on Sunday, some severe storms. Monday night into Tuesday morning is our best chance for that there. We'll continue to monitor it and bring you the latest online and throughout the weekend.